was the question? Again? Sorry. Um, I, sorry, I just hadn't, I can do it faster if you are looking for faster answers. No, as you want. Okay. Do you want to do it begin again? Yeah. Okay, just... perfect. Um, hi, Joanna. Could you tell us more about the evolution of your filmmaking journey from initially wanted to be an actress to becoming a director? Um, yeah, I um, studied uh, uh, film in college uh, and I had originally wanted to be an actor back in high school uh, but didn't want to audition in college and discovered uh, studying film instead. You mentioned previously that your previous project was delayed, leading up to create this film. Can you provide insight into the creative process while starting a new project unexpectedly? Um, I don't think I started a project unexpectedly. You never know when they're going <laughs> to come to you. So. Can you tell us some more about the inspiration behind this movie and your journey in bringing it to the screen? Um, yeah, so I've always been interested in uh, concise humor and I was curious to push even further with that. Um, and uh, so I wrote as many short scenes as I could drawing on personal experience and um, yeah I was very interested in playing with the humor of the way that people actually talk and um, finding comedy of everyday experience. The film explores the theme of BDSM relationship and with authenticity. What motivated you to delve into this subject matter? Um, well, I think that sex and sexuality relationships are all uh, interesting subjects and uh, the ways that people um, uh, sort of uh, ex explore new territory with each other, negotiate new rules, and the vulnerability around that um, was something that I wanted to explore. In your film, you play the main character, Anne. What led you to take on this role, and what were the challenges and rewards of doing so? Um, well, uh, the film, like I said, draws on personal experience, and uh, so I felt that it would give the story more authenticity if I played a fictionalized version of myself in this film. Um, and I've also acted in my previous short films, Laying Out and Bad at Dancing, so I wanted to uh, push further with the self-deprecating humor that I have explored previously. The film's editing has a unique and engaging rhythm. Could you share your process for developing this distinctive editing style? Um, can you, what was the question? Sorry, uh, the film's editing has a unique and engaging rhythm. Could you share, please, your process for developing this distinctive editing style? Well, I see the film first and foremost as a comedy, and I think that comedy often lends itself best for long takes and seeing um, the uninterrupted context of a situation and the absurdity of it play out. Um, so that was one reason for a slower editing style in some ways. But mainly I was trying to um, edit uh, based on what felt right for each scene and what each scene needed and the different sections, there's five main sections, they all have their own distinctive set of rules that I found in the edit process. Anne is a complex character with unclear motivations. How did you approach portraying her in a relationship with various partners? Um, Sorry, can you repeat? Sorry, yeah. Anne is a complex character with unclear motivations. How did you approach portraying her and her relationships with various partners? Um, well, I see the main character as someone who's uh, wrestling with questions about sexuality, relationships, and her own self. And so I was... Uh, you know, I think we all do this in some shape or form, so I was interested in telling a story that I hoped would resonate. 
The film is structured around Anne's relationship with different men. Could you explain the significance of this narrative choice? Well, it's a film about um, relationships and sexuality, so it, you know, that's just what the film is about, is following the different relationships that she's having as she uh, continues on this, on this journey. The composition and physical movement in the film seem meticulously crafted. Can you share insight into how you work on these elements? I'm sorry. Please. Sorry. The compositions and physical movement in this film seem meticulously crafted. Can you share insight into how working on these elements? Well, the kind of comedy that I'm. Uh, uh, working with in this film is a uh, deadpan style comedy. Um, and uh, so often what I was interested in working with during uh, the scenes was allowing lots of more time than one would expect. Um, I think, you know, what's inter interesting to me both dramatically and comedically is um, that area of uh, uncertainty in scenes. And I think more time uh, helps helps that helps uh, you know the scenes breathe more. Um, and yeah, uh, the the staging was specific and designed for um, often comedy or um, uh, you know what made sense for the characters' choices. Were there any specific visual references or inspiration that influenced the film's cinematography and aesthetics? Uh, one reference is uh, Simon Liang's Viva L'Amour, and uh, I really appreciate his uh, long take, long shot, minimalist style, and how he leaves space in his uh, films for the audience to absor absorb uh, his off-kilter cinematic worlds on their own terms. Your film explores the modern loneliness of big cities. Could you elaborate on how this theme plays a role in this narrative form? I'm sorry. Your film explores the modern loneliness of big cities. Could you elaborate on how this theme plays a role in the narrative? I mean, I think New York is definitely a part of this film. Uh, I wanted to show a really complex portrait of the film, uh, of the story, uh, and I included uh, through lines of uh, family, friends, and work life in addition to relationships and sexuality. Um, and part of that mosaic was, um, you know, including different neighborhoods and places and environments as well. And my hope in doing all this was to show how the entirety of our experience informs who we are. Anne's desire for controlling in her sexuality is mentioned. How does this desire relate to her professional life where she feels controlled? I'm sorry? Sorry. Anne's desire for control in her sexuality is mentioned in your movie. How does this desire relate to her professional life where she feels controlled? Mm, well, you know, in the different uh, through lines that I mentioned, um, you know, sometimes the, the through lines contrast with each other and sometimes they draw similarities and I like to, you know, leave some space for the viewer to interpret how these things relate to each other. Um, I would also say that, you know, it, there's a, a desire for submission, but that that desire is also um, a measure of control herself and that, you know, I feel like there's often a lot of misconceptions about BDSM and what it means to be submissive. So in this film, I, it was very important to me to show Anne as an active participant in the planning of the sessions to counter that. Um, so I just mentioned that as, uh, you know, there's the control that she's submitting to in this role play, but then there's control that she's also exerting by organizing these these sessions and meeting up with these men as well. The film features your non-acting parents playing the role of Anne's parents. What was the reasoning behind this casting choice? Um, well, I 
similar to the reasons uh, that I cast myself, I, I felt that um, casting my parents to play these fictionalized versions of uh, themselves in a way um, was, uh, you know, helped, helped uh, give the film authenticity. And also we did a screen test at one point and they were terrific, so. The film's deadpan humor and news of uncomfortable situation have drawn comparison with, to other filmmakers like Nina Dunham. How do you view this comparison? Um, I admire and respect Lena Dunham's work, but I don't really see that as a comparison myself. I, I think, you know, because she's a female filmmaker who's successful, often other female filmmakers uh, get compared to her, but I, I see them as pretty different, and I, I hope there, as there continue to be more women filmmakers, uh, we can also get compared to others, or we don't even have to be compared to other women at all. What were your main goals and inspiration in pursuing your career in filmmaking, and how do you see your future in the industry? How were your main goals and inspiration in pursuing a career in filmmaking, and how do you see your future in the industry? What was my... Future. A dependent movie, some big movie. How do you see your yeah, future? Yeah, future that is yeah, but yeah. what was my inspiration yes, to do film? Later. To, start, to start your career in filmmaking, just what, where you go, just... Hmm. Um, well, I had studied filmmaking in college, and I... Uh, decided to keep on uh, making films since I liked it. The last shot of this movie is described as surprising. Can you provide some context and insight into significance of this final moment? I'm sorry. Sorry. In, this, in the last shot of your movie, mm -hmm. is described as surprising. The last <laughs> shot. Mm -hmm. Can you provide some context or insight into the significance of this final moment? I don't want to give away too much about the ending, but I, I'll say that, you know, one of my hopes for the film is that it's about uh, how we're all more than one person and, and about the ways we both change and don't change. What do you remember about the screening of your movie in Deauville as part of the American Film Festival? I'm just uh, very happy to be included at Deauville uh, Film Festival. As a filmmaker, what message or impact do you hope to achieve with your work, especially in terms of representing women in cinema? Well, I think um, there's not a wide enough array of uh, depictions of women in, in film, and often um, women and other underrepresented groups are depicted uh, narrowly. Um, so I just hope that this, uh, you know, I think everyone, every group of people deserve to be depicted with the full range of humanity, um, and uh, I hope that in portraying Anne, uh, you know, in her questions she's wrestling with uh, and all her flaws uh, adds to this uh, varied representation. What can you tell us about the place where your film was shot? What does New York City mean for you? Um, well, I'm from New York City and it's a personal story. Do you want me to do that one again? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I'm from New York City and it's a personal story. Uh, so, you know, it was definitely going to be a part of it. And my last question, can you share any upcoming projects or inspiration you have in your filmmaking career beyond your debut feature? Well, I have a few projects in development, um, but they're at early stages right now. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Can I take a picture? Oh, sure. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for this interview.